Right, so thank you for the global tallies of the past 24 hours. Now for more coverage on the local COVID-19 situation, today I have Shin Yeun here in the studio. Yeun, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Sunny. Right, so as Soa mentioned, Omicron appears to have pushed our daily tally to a new high. Tell us more. That's right. So ever since the Omicron variant became Korea's dominant strain, taking up more than half of all new infections nationwide, the country has witnessed a flurry of outbreaks. Regions like Honam, Gyeongbuk and Gangwon have been hit particularly hard. Eight out of ten infections in Korea's southwestern Honam region were Omicron cases, and Omicron accounted for 70 percent of all new infections in Gyeongsangbuk-do province, whereas in Gangwon-do province, this number stood at nearly 60 percent. And the the variant has also triggered a string of cluster infections in the greater Seoul area. It's responsible for nearly 90 percent of all cases in the city of Pyeongtaek in Gyeonggi-do province and is spreading rapidly after a mass outbreak at a U.S. military base and a nursing home. At a briefing on Monday, KDCA Commissioner Chung eun kyung encouraged people to get their boosters, citing local data that showed the effectiveness of extra jabs against the Omicron variant. Take a listen to what she said. We've seen how many neutralizing antibodies one could build after getting a booster shot or a third extra jab. It turns out a booster shot can increase antibodies against Omicron by up to 100 times. Right, and along with calls for booster shots, I understand government, the government that is, is looking to transition into an Omicron response posture. Yon. That's right, Sunny. Korea is set to launch a new set of prevention guidelines on Wednesday that have been specifically drawn up to curb the spread of Omicron. Making the most efficient, efficient use of our limited medical resources will be the primary focus of these new measures. And COVID-19 screening centers will only conduct PCR testing on high-risk groups and those with a suspected infection. Everyone else will have to test themselves using rapid antigen test kits. And this will definitely speed up the process at testing centers with shorter lines. And now the latest measure will first kick off in Gwangju, Jeollanamdo province, and the cities of Pyeongtaek and Ansong in Gyeonggi-do province starting on Wednesday. And the government is planning to expand these testing protocols nationwide as early as the end of this month or early February. Right. Now, Yeon, the timing of this latest rebound is also causing much concern given the upcoming Lunar New Year holiday, right? Right. You're absolutely right. We're approaching the Lunar New Year holiday this weekend. And on Monday, Prime Minister Kim Bu-gyum asked the nation's people to cancel any plans to visit their relatives or travel to their hometowns in light of our current situation. He warned that cross-country travel and mass gatherings over the long weekend could add more fuel to the crisis. A number of times, the government has asked that you connect with your families from a distance, saying one last time or just this once. But we have seen how movement across the country at major holidays can worsen the COVID-19 situation. He added those who must travel are strongly recommended to get a booster shot and get tested for COVID-19 before moving about. He also advised people to wear masks that are certified with at least KF80 or higher. Right. Yeon, yeah, thank you for now, but do stay with us for more talks.